Alrighty, welcome to Unranked to Diamond on Briar. We started this account pretty low. Usually, whenever I start an Unranked to Diamond series, on a on an account that hasn't played ranked yet, if you win five normal games, you boost the MMR. Now, I forgot to do that on this account. So, the account started in actually like iron. Let me see if I can show you. And it started in bronze too. So we climbed this account all the way up to gold four, which was a matter of like 30 ish games, which I've never done. Usually the accounts will be placed somewhere within gold or like platinum. And then we just climb from there. But in this case, we started all the way down in bronze and then climbed up from there. And we're currently at gold four. And I have to say that the actual climb of like winning the games wasn't the easiest. <laughs> Like the win rate looks crazy. We average 15 kills when everyone's at like 30% win rate with this champion. But Briar is like genuinely strong. But I learned a couple things as I as I progressed here. And one of the first things was that you need to full clear. If you full clear, then you'll be strong. And then Briar is very strong at skirmishing. Even if her ulti is down, if you're stronger, then you can still you can still fight them. And then once you have a lead, you can push the lead. You can push it by kind of endlessly attacking the enemy. And if you build enough AD or have enough of a lead, then you'll be able to clear the camps fast enough and still pr participate in the fights. Because even if you're full clearing, you can still look for ultis. So this is kind of what I picked up as I went in terms of macro. In terms of micro, um, a couple things is like, Whenever you go for a, a gank, you can Q them and then use your E and then use the W. But I had that beforehand, even on PvE. And come late game, you really want to be casting your W as many times as possible so that you can get the chomp. Whenever you're team fighting, it's all about getting that chomp off so that you heal a, a ton. If I had to guess what they're going to hotfix nerf about Briar, it would be her chomp healing once they realize like the champion's really really strong but you're just smurfing it's not really like that listen man listen man in master tier i've also dropped 21 kills on the champion easily easily if the game state is good and the game's somewhat playable the champion is so strong now we do have quite a bit of di different champions played as well on the account and that's because this was day one and day two of briar being released so it's not going to be a total climb. It's not going to be a 100% on the account, at least to start. And I hope you understand with that, with dodge timers. And I also live streamed most of the games. I'll have a link for that below. So yeah, this will hopefully help you get an idea of how to play Briar. And I hope you enjoy. And that's all I got to say. Alrighty, peace out. Alrighty, welcome Back to the jungle and welcome back to Unranked to Diamond on Briar. We are currently in the prestigious Silver 4. We are starting off super low on this account. And I only wanted to start recording the commentaries at Silver because I accidentally made it where we were <laughs> literally climbing through like iron and bronze on the placements. My bad. Now as you can see it's not totally Briar just like from the get go because it's pretty hard to get this champion. She was just released yesterday. And we're lucky to get her, and since we're going to have to play quite a bit of games to climb, it may not totally be on Briar, but I think I think that's okay. And I'm learning a bit as we go, too, with the champion just being released. Even though I did play her quite a bit on PvE, I'm still getting kind of good experience, even though I'm playing in lower elo. So, in this game, we're playing against Mundo, Vi, Malphi, Shin. That's a whole lot of tanks, and what I've learned very quickly is that you really need Bork whenever you're playing against these tank champions because the Bork deals this percentage HP damage that you like otherwise just don't have access to. And without that, you are not going to be dealing like any damage to the tanks at all. You can try to with Black Cleaver, but good luck. Good luck is like all I'll say. Another thing I learned is that um, the bleed passive is pretty good. You can let the camp kind of just die as you walk away from it more often than not. So I've been utilizing that a whole lot more to kind of save time while clearing the camps. Because one of my complaints with Briar from the beginning was that I can't kite the camps. But you can walk away from them like that for so, 
so long. Because whenever you hit something, you apply this bleed passive, and then it just stacks up and stacks up, kind of like Darius's bleed passive. So. You can also get an auto off after the E like that, too. Wow, this guy is so low. Mr. Malphite. He has TP, so he'll probably leave. We'll keep pathing towards bot side. And then we do put a point in our Q, even if we're full clearing, I'm pretty sure. Because then we can, like, Q, auto, E. E, auto, W. And that'll give us as much damage to the camp before we use the chomp. Just like that. Now watch how much damage the bleed deals. It almost does. Like 80 to 100 damage. Oh? Wow. So Vi has red buff, so she'll go back to her blue side. There's really nothing for me to chase there. And then these guys are very close to their turret too. So even though like everyone's dying across the map, there's not really big opportunities for me. And nothing for me to skip my camps for either. But that's fine guys, listen, I also have seen that Briar has a 30% win rate with the 30% <laughs> win rate in Challenger. Ay ay ay. Or no, it's 20%. It's even worse. It's even worse than I thought. It's 20% win rate in Challenger, and then 30 in most ranks. I don't know how people are losing that hard on her. I did have a head start on PB, but very impressive. Very, very impressive. Alrighty, come on down, Mr. Twitch. Come on down, Mr. Twitch. Nice. At least I want to engage on this guy. Damn, maybe I should have went around. Q. A. A. Chomp. A. Oh! He flashed away. Shit. And he just lives, too. Here he comes, baby! Okay, I should have flanked. I figured that they would all in the uh, Morgana. That's how that would usually go here. Um, let's go pickaxe. We don't need the vamps up to early. Yeah, I figured the Shen taunts the Ezreal ease into the Morgana, but no, 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 not here. Ezreal played it safe, and boy, did it work out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Doesn't really matter, though. If you do a full clear into a total int, it can be fine. It's no big deal. It slows you down. Is it the end of the world? No. Alrighty, so I want to get level 5, and then meet Vi on the dragon, make sure that she doesn't solo that- Oh, hello. Hey. 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 Cute chomp. Now she did get my big raptor. That's kind of an L. What I can do is go into her red side now. <laughs> I will show you. This is something I've noticed too, like, if you're very interested in the differences of ELO, like, something I've noticed is that the enemy jungle will do the worst invades mankind has ever seen in low ELO. So one thing I would recommend if you're low ELO is to never invade ever and only clear your own camps. And that will just instantly make you a lot stronger and in a better position to fight than the enemy. Okay, so it looks like Vi isn't showing on these just yet, but I'll go... There she is. Alrighty, so if she's on these, then she used abilities, too. Dude. Damn, I feel like it was focusing the, um... I feel like it was focusing the golem there. Come on. Oh. Okay. I guess I'll just die to Shin, that's fine. That was kind of awkward. She interrupted my thing, and then I... She interrupted my Q with her Q, so I didn't get my stun off. That's still fine, though. Let's go ahead and buy boots. Once I have the uh, some AD, then the attack speed from the recurve bow isn't too important. And we're about to be level 6, too, so with the boots, it will let us be a real menace on the map. Not only can we ult into the lanes, but we can also get there very quickly when we need to. Level 6. The binding goes wide. No ulti for us. What? Drake, where's my blue buff? Nice. Yep, I have pretty good stuns in the bot lane and the mid lane. 
The problem with ulti mid lane is that they're always so close to that turret. Where Briar has to run them down for so long, it's very hard to actually get a good ulti. Nice, Malphite's coming to me. Don't mind if I do. Now we will run him down forever here. So there's no need to be quick on it. No need. W. Q. A. A. Chomp. Nice. You want to save that W and you want to save the Q for the dashes once you've already got the ulti on someone. You'll run them down until they die. Pretty good start. Good start. So we deny the Vi the dragon. Get it ourselves. Use our ulti. We're kind of set up, honestly. I'm going to do the blue buff here, and then I might gank bot, or I might just reset. Really up to the enemy to make a mistake falling for me to have a real gank down here. We know Mr. Ezreal. He loves to play safe. Boy, does he. Let's see if they get crazy. Alright, they're not getting crazy. I'm out of here. Finally, they got crazy. Kill this. <laughs> okay, guys. Oh, on to Vi. I think we win. Oh, not if I do it like this. Whoops. Q. Run. Huh. They like one shot me. The Shin dealt as much damage as the Ezreal. Sorry, sorry. That's like through my E as well. Alrighty, one thing's for sure. Ganking bot lane. Without guaranteed TSC when you have an enchanter, not worth your time. Especially in low elo. Listen, I know this. This is what I was doing in earlier part of the climb. I was telling everyone, stay away. They got an enchanter down there. Like, I have a Seraphine. Stay away. It's not worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And look at me now. Succumbing to my own stupidity. At the end of the day, though, we got Vi ulti, so... I will go ahead and try to start the Rift Herald here. And Vi, we have a question. Do you want to fight? To the death for a Rift Herald. Because I think you need to be trying to get these things done as Briar early. Because you really run out of time super quickly. We can invade this guy. Nice. Kill him. Killed him. Boom. Oh, oh, I don't want Malphite. Easy. Super easy fight. It's nice where I deal damage to like absolutely everyone too. So we got the Rift Herald. We killed them. Let's reset. Spend our gold and then we can actually get onto the map and be useful. I'll go ahead and buy another longsword here. I want to get to Merc Dreads, because they have every tank to ever exist in League of Legends. And then I also want to get to Black Cleaver, because Black Cleaver also helps me shred the tanks. And you might be thinking, what about your mythic item? Don't worry about it, man. I promise you it's not important on Briar. Sometimes in the early game, but listen, what's most important is that you get a lead and then slam into the enemy. So we have the Bork, we clear really fast, and we deal a lot of damage whenever we get on top of someone. So we want to clear our camps faster than the Vi, get a level lead, and then go fight on the map. So right now we're level 8 to her 7, but she has her ulti up, okay? Now this guy is biting off more than he can chew. Hello, friend. Go ahead and use the W early. And then when he Qs us, we Q him. Chomp. Alright, I mean, that was easy. That was way easier than expected. Go ahead and drop the Rift Herald. The Vi shows bot lane now. If I had to guess, yeah, there's no Raptors here, so we'll go ahead and try to take her blue side. More gold for me, less gold for you. Aw. Aw, uh, two seconds on this. It's so awkward when you don't have the W for the camps, I swear. Kicking these wolves in the face. It's like your neighbor's dog that you don't like, you know? 
And he's a bad dog, so listen, you can kick him. That dog has bit people, only ever been a nuisance. It's fine. I would never. Okay. Oh, there's too many people topside. Listen, there's a Shin, there's a Vi. <laughs> I think fight here, but what I can do here is spend my Darius, you know? If Darius wants to fight, then that's fine. It's way better if your allies... Ow. Start the fight first. W. Q. A. 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 Chomp. A. Nice. Oh, I'm so dead. Nice. Oh, I wish I didn't ult in. Okay, that's one. Moving! Okay, I win. Nice. My W's coming up. Moving! Ow. I'm dead. <laughs> it's so lame. That part's actually so lame. I can't choose my target. It's gonna be whoever's in front. That's so weird. <laughs> I've killed myself like four times this game. Um, so I'm gonna delay my tier 2 boots here, valuing the um, Black Cleaver over it. And we have the Relentless Hunter to kind of make up for that too. Because with the Black Cleaver, it gives you flat movement speed whenever you hit the enemy champion. So with Briar's passive, it gives you a percentage movement speed increase on the W. And that's like 60%. That's huge. But you need flat movement speed to really have that amped. So that's what we do with the Tier 1 boots. 25 movement speed. And then the Black Cleaver. Giving you 3 every stack. So, And we're back to square 1 here. Killing the camps while our ulti is down. And getting a level lead over the Vi. And then going to fight. And all of this just keeps getting faster and faster. Now I should have cleared my blue side beforehand, but... You know what they say. <laughs> you know what they say, I try to get kills so the video looks cooler, that's what they say. Alrighty, so we max the W into Q. You want to max the Q second as that reduces the cooldown, giving you more dashes, and it reduces the enemy's armor even more. Oh yeah, that's why I didn't clear my blue side. Malphite entered into mid turret, I forgot. An expert move. Malphite has not learned his lesson, I see. There's one thing to rely on, it's Shard of the Monolith being a little rock-headed. But he exits left like he's Challenger. Interesting. I'm gonna take this guy's camps before I do the dragon. Nice, fights on this. Fight! Okay. Chomp. Aw, oh, Pantheon gets a kill. Try to... Oh, this ulti is too high, I think. Yeah, way too high. Run! It's a whole Malphite right there. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. E. No, not on the shin, man. Oh, I'm so screwed. Oh, the W kind of sucks sometimes. I really, really, really want to get onto Ezreal there. But since Shin was the closest target to where I dashed to, it's going to target him. Well, we're learning a little bit here. We got the Black Cleaver. This will help us dealing with the tanks even more. But now it's going to be about surviving them. And listen, I'm getting owned by physical damage, so I think I just go Ninja Tabby. As much as I would like the Merc Treads against the Vi, the Malphite, the Shin, I think I should do it like this. And if I really need CC reduction come late game, I can go Silver Mare Dawn. This is kind of a hard game. But I have made it hard on myself with these five deaths. Usually there's nothing to worry about in low elo though, that's the thing. Feed as much as you want. So long that you do it right, it come... Come late game, it's fine. Don't mind if I do. Q. Nice. Try to find Vi, I think I win. Her ulti should still be down. He's kind of going long here. Oh. If 
problem. Or she doesn't have ulti, she can't win. It's gonna be that initial burst, and if that doesn't kill me, she loses, like, instantly. Alrighty, we are gonna be massively farming right now. Our bot lane is massively lost, and my solo lanes are dependable, so I need to get strong for them. <laughs> I get strong for my brothers. Ugh. Ugh. So with the rank 2 ulti, it's on an even lower cooldown. And where we have Black Cleaver, that gives us 30 ability haste. So even though I wasted my ulti like right there, it's almost back up now. It's pretty chill, honestly. This is where I really like the Bork. It lets you ramp the map so quickly. Gives you a lot of fighting power. Um, I have a lot of gold, actually. Let's spend my gold before I look for a fight. Because I can get a lot more durable. We definitely need some magic resist, though. We got this for armor, and then we can just kind of... Do it like this for now. I guess building towards Silver Mare Dawn. Seems like my best item. Silver Mare Dawn also removes, like, taunts, too, so... If they're gonna try to CC me, then they're really gonna have to... Work at it. Okay, so we're waiting for them to attack something. Until they attack something, I don't really have a great move, because top is farming, mid's farming, AD is farming, nothing's happening, you know? You wanna kill my Twitch? That's a deal right there. The be like, the more up the map I can get, the better, because it's easier to hit an ulti from the flank position than it is front to back. Come on, Malphite, go in. Be a man. I dare ya. I dare ya. That is one big Shin support, man. He has a hard steel and a Sunfire Cape. Let's fight. Oh. Auto. Auto. See ya. I think that's one down. Phew. Oh, no. I can't use my E. I really need the black shield for later. That one's tricky, man. That one's tricky. Because <clears throat> Malphite ults me point blank, you know? How am I supposed to use my E? And then Vi Qs me. Whenever they layer CC. Good god. Especially where it's knockups. Q. Nice. Vi dies. Q. Oh. 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 A 1v1 of all time right there. 50 seconds on the dragon, so we'll keep farming. I'm fine for my life here in silver. <laughs> I need more XP. Nice, they got Malphite ulti. Huh? Not sure where I should aim this bad boy. Nice, we got Shin at least. Can I win against a Shin support? That's what we're wondering. Eventually. Run! Get off me! Flash. Run. So this is where I think Ghost would be really good, because I'd be able to choose to go back in. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Alright, the dragon is all yours. You earned it. Note to self, never go bot lane. It doesn't work. Wow, that is so much damage. Huh? Oh, they both died. Huh, I didn't even notice. I can try to get in here. Oh, thank you. Nice, okay, we can win. 
Didn't think I'd have to make a comeback in Silver 4 today, but anything's possible. Let's just attack him like this. Oh. Bonk. Goodbye. You may be asking, how is this comeback possible? How does he do it? Is he just that good? All I did was farm my camps and run into the enemy, okay? There's nothing special going on here. I'm not even playing the fights particularly well. It's just I farmed every single camp into a play. There is no good reason to skip the camps beforehand. That's why I'm level 15 and then Vi's level 12. Even if the fights went wrong, I'd be level 14 to level 12. It's chill. Alrighty, and to round out our build here, what are we thinking? What the hell are we thinking against all these tanks? <clears throat> Jack's show does not sound bad, but I really think I need an AD item. Divine Sunder, I was told, was very bad. So let's try Gore Drinker instead. And now we also have the Silver Mare Dawn, removing CC from us and slows. And then also giving us a ton of tenacity after the active is used too. So I'm trying to get to level 16, and then if we win one fight and get the Baron, we instantly win the game, baby. That's what they don't tell you. You don't have to win a bunch of fights, you just have to win one and then take Baron. And you instantly win the game. But you do have to do it at the right time. Phew. I think I win. Okay, I'm good. Ooh. Okay, I'm not good. Um, okay, Google, why is my top and mid dead topside? They're silver four. You know, you're not wrong. So then it's my duty to stay alive. And I tried to attack them instead. Damn, I have ulti though. Pantheon, get in there. Pantheon, get in there. Ult in. Pantheon. A little late. <laughs> okay, GG. Damn, I lost another one here. But I'm figuring things out. Step one, don't die. Don't try to overplay the enemy when all my allies are dead. Noted. Don't gank bot lane. Just never fucking gank bot lane like that. Never ever fucking gank bot lane. Noted. Oh yeah, I do have the gore drinker. The enemy could still lose, now that's a fact. If I get an ulti onto Ezreal, we can win. If the enemy botches and engage, we can win. Damn, I'm still not level 16 though. Now they didn't engage, so... Kinda goes against my morals here. But it's up to them to engage my allies first. We just can't do it the fun way, that's for sure. Yep. Yeah. I think I'll just shoot an ulti top lane. I still die, damn. I need death stance, it's too much burst damage. Way too much burst damage, and it's like all physical coming out of the Mundo and then the Vi. I really like items like Sterex. It gives you that shield, so even if you initially get engaged on. With Sterex as well, whenever it's procced, you um, gain size, but then you also gain tenacity. The tenacity is very, very useful. I've already gotten Gore Drinker. I get enough armor in MR, I think I should just go Sterex instead. Because Death Dance, like, reduces 
the time in which I take damage, but stairs gives me more actual HP, which is probably going to be necessary. That HP will just keep going up, too. We are in a bad spot in this game. If we win next Baron, though, we can win. Nice, a noob. Damn, it heals more damage than me. Oh, he has anti-heal too, I see, I see. My life's screwed up. I was wondering why he was winning so hard. You know, in hindsight, even trying to play against, like, what would be the enemy CC combo, the Silver Mare Dawn doesn't help enough. I think if I just went basic items, like Black Cleaver, Stair Axe, into, um... Black Cleaver into maybe a Gargoyles or something, things would make more sense. No. Okay. So... Oh, targets Shin again, man. Jump. Q. You want to stun him and then chomp him. Finish him off before he can proc his gray health. I'll keep pushing this wave, try to take the bot turret, and then we need to win the fight for Baron to actually win. Fire's W doesn't work on the turret, so it's pretty awkward. Pretty, let's reset. Finally, I have Sterex. And then I think I just get Iron Pot. <laughs> More CC reduction, baby. Um, and then could I still sell Silver Mare Dawn for Death Dance? Not quite. If I didn't get the Iron Pot, I could have. Yeah, because Death Dance is so much more useful for me. Who would have expected Vi to build all this bullshit, you know? <laughs> Who would expect her to build all these funny items? And then they totally own me. Given that she keeps getting kills. <laughs> and she totally shreds armor. Guys, the Baron. Okay. Now I need my team to go in first. This is the worst part of low elo, okay? Go. 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 Go ahead and get in there. Go ahead. Get in there. Go. Guys. Guy's the Baron. We can't fight here either. Let's stay in the flank position, try to land an ulti on Ezreal. Oh, too, way too. Don't push me luck. Fucking instantly combo. Alrighty, GG. Let it be known, even I can lose in Silver 4.
trying my best too. It's like too many double digit deaths and the enemy has too many tanks. Now the steps I would have had to take to win this game were pretty obvious to me though. It's not taking any fights bot side and then just hammering one lane over and over. What I was trying to do is just kind of attack every single lane, which is not the right idea. You want to attack like two things. So in this case, I want to attack um, top lane and then I want to attack the enemy jungle. And then I can respond to what's happening mid and bot lane, but with my main focus being pathing towards those things. Because then if I do that, I can get Rift Herald and I can get Baron and I can actually win the game. But alrighty, hope you learned something from this and I'll see you in the next commentary. Thank you. Peace. All right, welcome back to the jungle and welcome back to Unranked the Diamond on Briar. We're currently in Silver 3. Very impressive, I know. And we're playing against Evelyn and someone in chat just asked, um, if you're starting to play Briar, what are your recommendations on how to play her? And I think, step one, we want to full clear. If we full clear, it doesn't matter how bad we play a fight. We got level four, we're still going to be strong. And even if we die, we can get back to our respawning camps. But then the good part of ending your full clear is that you have a lot of time to fight before your camps are back up and you'll be strong to do so. Because every time you get an extra level, you get an extra point in the abilities. And that's usually going to be the W. Can this guy chill out? I want to do it normal. Okay, let's get onto our red buff here. You can dash over this wall. <laughs> so even though we wasted some time. Chomp. So every time you get a level up, you get an extra point in the abilities, and there's so much packed into each ability. That's what I quickly noticed. So every time we level this up, attack speed, movement speed, damage, AOE damage, etc, etc. We're against Evelyn, so Evelyn wants to full clear as well. And Evelyn is very weak at invading us, so we don't have to worry about that either. And whenever you're looking for a full clear too, you probably want to start on the top side and then path down generally. That stays true this game because we have Poppy versus Set. Poppy's a tank. It's going to be very hard for the enemy to kill her. Why did I go Q second? Whoops. Don't do that. It will work out here. It'll be fine. Honestly, it's kind of chill when you start red side, huh? I'm not missing not having the E. But Poppy's a tank. She'll survive a gank, and I can much easier gank the Ari or the bot lane. Oh, whoops, I cast the chomp again. That's the only problem I've had with this champion so far. Is casting the chomp like right at the beginning of the W. Because I really spam out my abilities whenever I cast them. Ready? W, auto, Q, auto. And then you can smite these so that the W deals more damage too. And then when charging the E, you want to try to auto as you slam it into the wall. And then usually the camp will just bleed to death. The bleed does quite some, quite a bit of damage, so you can walk away from the camp at about 100 HP. Think. Go ahead and save my W here so I can do the scuttle a lot faster. So I finished the clear, and then I want to see which lanes can I gank. It's kind of looking like mid lane. Poppy didn't die to the Evelyn gank. And since that Twitch is pushed in, we would have to dive him. So can I dive the Twitch with a Zyra Misfortune? Maybe, but I'm not going to attempt it. Meanwhile, the Ari is like super pushed up, so we'll just wait for her to make a mistake and then try to flank. She's playing hard to the left side here, so we might be able just to run her down. We'll keep moving behind her so that we can stay on top. Okay, W. Q. Nice, she has no flash. <laughs> I targeted Evelyn. <laughs> Into the wall, boys. Huh? Run. Get these noobs off me. I can pull them in desire. Check it out. Oh, a bit too soon. Chomp. E. Get away. Alrighty, Zyra. So much for <laughs> your... Your special flash move. So much for that. The fight is over. Instantly recall. Listen, we got a kill. We got all the farm. We have we got both scuttle crabs. We're ahead of Evelyn. Now, what am I going to build this game? That's a great question, and I don't have an answer for you. Um. Uh, I guess Stridebreaker. 
Let's do it like this. We went free boots this game because we're just gonna be matching the full clear with Evelyn. If you have any matchup where you would be able to fight them a lot, you can go domination secondary, but since that's how this matchup plays out, the inspiration tree gives you gives me like more free value as I full clear my camps and then fight afterwards. So now I want to do the same rotation here, full clear my camps down, and then afterwards I can look for dragon or I can look for a plan to bot side. And Evelyn, meanwhile, can't do anything about it. Oh, why is this guy fighting? We got level 5, so we can go fight, but this is not what I want to do. Okay. So Evelyn did her red side camp. She's going to go to the blue side. Let's beat her up, okay? She has a blasting wand. I have an iron spike whip and a dagger. I'm going to kick his ass. Hello. W. A. A. Iron spike whip. Q. A. Chomp. Trying to get as much damage as I can. Alrighty, run away, run away. Not this guy. Q. Alrighty, we waited around too long. <laughs> so much for invading. That's where this build kind of falls flat. Compared to the Bork, like, I feel like I always have enough damage. But in this case, we would have had the Iron Spike. Like, this is more damage than it would have given us, at least early. So whenever you feed like that, um, now the Evelyn's going to do Wolves and then do Gromp and Reset. So what I'm looking to do is just invade her again. If I can find her on the red buff, then that gives me something to do. Whereas doing the Wolves and Gromp doesn't give me level 6, so I'm not too concerned with it. That's where, like, these sort of attacks aren't even a big deal if they go wrong. I spent Ari's time, I spent the uh, set's time. I even got his ghost. Let's go ahead and start this up, because we don't know like how long it will take Evelyn to get here. I'm gonna save my E as well. Nope. So Ari kills the Vex. She's level 6 and then she'll shove this wave. I may be able to run her down, but not with Evelyn there. Let's just go ahead and farm my camps. Because since I took her red, now it's just a couple camps for me to get level 6. This E sucks sometimes, I swear. <laughs> uh, these lanes aren't making it easy either. Whenever the enemy is totally pushed in, don't even look at that lane. That's why I stay away from bot lane and low elo. All they do is shove, 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 and then you can't gank there. And it's totally fine to show up later when your bot lane dies because they've been pushing for like 50 years. Nice, okay, we're level 6, so now we can just shoot ourselves into any one of these lanes. Okay. Try to shoot an ulti like right here. Nice. We hit Twitch. Go ahead and Ghost. Nice. Phew, chomp. Shove him into the wall, and then we're just waiting for W, really. Okay. <laughs> nice, my bleed got the kill. Okay, really good play. Really good play. A lot of people have told me, like, this E ability sucks, but you can't use it offensively. It comes in at, like, the beginning or the end of the fight. It's to cancel you, like, running into the enemy when you can't keep chasing. Or, it's like after your W is down and you're stalling time for your W to come back up, or for your allies to do anything. Alright, let's reset. Get the whole stride breaker and... Now we can path towards topside, since we've taken the dragon. If we clear our camps towards top, then we'll be able to end our path on the Rift Herald. And then if there's nothing for us to do, at the very least we can start that Rift Herald and see who wants to come play. But whenever your ulti's on cooldown on Briar, there's no, like, there's no onus for you to try to make a play happen. All you have to do is be farming. 
if all your camps are up and you're skipping them and your ulti is down, you gotta reconsider some stuff. Alternatively, you could spend $40 to buy a coaching session from me, and then I could tell you, hey man, you needed to farm your camps. Okay, so they take Rift Herald. I'll go ahead and check if Evelyn's red side is up. Because if he took this, we'll be taking this. It's not even a great play for Evelyn to do that Rift Herald. Might be able to help here. Not exactly seeing it. I'll do Scuttle and then clean up mid lane. This guy's feeding, but not a huge deal yet. And we want to go about this defensively, which Briar really sucks at. She's so bad at defending because your W like doesn't let you um, not just attack someone. Jump. Okay, that guy screwed up royally. Don't depend on that one, man. Evelyn may be on my red side camps here. Yeah, what a... You want the red buff? No, okay, so he must have went back to his blue side. Let's see if we can't find him there. Oh, already in the top lane, I see. Threadbreaker, A. A. W. A. Q. A. 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 Chomp. Nice. Um, I'll try to take her camps while I can right here. We're gonna have to fight Ari though. Maybe not. Run! Sweaty, sweaty. Play's over. Let's reset. Another successful outing. Now, I'm just thinking Black Cleaver straight up here. The Merc Treads are nice to have, though. Right, I only have 44 MR. And then let's go double Longsword. Oh, the Merc Treads just screw things up. Let's do it like this. Give me all the Longswords. I don't care about... I don't care about the durability just yet. Because right now, we're going to be farming everything into a play. And if I win that play, I become uber strong. I will get right to level 10, right to my second item, and the enemy's screwed. Is fine, keep feeding, it's fine. Ari has ulti, but dang, if I nail him with mine, then I think uh, I think I kill right there. Let's go. We're charmed, it's fine. Easy, actually. That was way easier than I expected. But he didn't ult away. I figured we might have to take that under the turret, but I would be able to heal enough with the chomp. Let's keep farming. Our ulti's on a, only on a one minute cooldown now too. With the stride breaker into black cleaver, it gives you a ton of ability haste. So then the ulti is basically always up, just really playing into farming all the camps and then ramping up and just shooting an ulti. <laughs> shooting an ulti from the depths of hell right into the enemy's face. Evelyn's getting these kills, we do not care. I'm level 10. I do not care. Because it's skill-based matchmaking. If my allies end, so will his. Isn't that right, Twitch? Isn't that right, Twitch? You'll end. Isn't that right? Oh. Whoa. Close. All right, let's just wait for the dragon here. We have Black Cleaver soon enough. Go ahead and take this thing out. Try to stop me. I will pull this bad boy while I can. Barely. It's so easy for the enemy to like land CC on me right there. Okay, noob alert. Let's uh, push bot and then try to dive the Twitch here. Oh, 
time to no time to waste. Eat the camps. Eat them all. I'm so hungry. I'm a hungry guy. A big boy's got to eat. Oh, chomp. Sorry. Do I want to ult that? No. No. <laughs> it's reset. We got Black Cleaver. We just signed a deal. We're on. Alrighty. So we got that. We got the two dragons. And now I'm looking for level 11, which is only one camp. And then I am... About as strong as they get two items, and with level 11, we get a second point in our ulti. Nice. Reducing the ulti's cooldown, increasing the damage, and increasing the amount of armor, MR, lifesteal, and movement speed we get. Um, I need to stay here in case Evelyn wants to attack Vex. Just like this. Wow, why was Evelyn so low? She went for this play. <laughs> she went for that play so low. Maybe Vex hit her with some abilities or something. Huh? Noob alert, noob alert. Brand support, so the special type. They go 2 and 7. Very creative, very creative. The set isn't weak, he has a fork, but damn, we already have two items on him. Go ahead and use this top lane. It's pretty hard to take that top turret, and we've already taken the mid turret. Boosh. Now, set is not a total random here, so we'll have to give him, these, give him some space. No, you stupid Rift Herald. Kill the champion. Okay. This is going to be Ari's TP. This will go down eventually. Q, Stride Breaker. Chomp. Okay, it's fine. Don't block this. Okay, we're in there. It's uh, 5 seconds. Really short cooldown, honestly. W. Nice. I really, really like that about Stridebreaker plus the Black Cleaver. Which Gore Drinker would do the same thing, but you get so much ability haste. It makes the Q and W like always up. It's so crazy. Alrighty, Evelyn, your, your farm is mine. You have 94 CS, and it's gonna stay that way. Look at this, the W's just right back up. Whoops. I meant to put my extra point in the Q. The allies die, no problem. No problem. For my mythic item, I'm really just thinking like Gore Drinker. Oh wait, I already have Stride Breaker. Never mind. That makes it simple. We can just go Sterax. So since we did this play, right, we're just waiting for Baron to spawn. So in the meantime, I want to be farming everything that I can. Why? It makes me stronger. It makes me stronger than the enemy. Now I could ult in right here, but I won't. I already have nine kills. It's up to the enemy to stop losing, which they won't be able to do. Go ahead and reset, spin some gold, and then back on the map here. Sterex is such a crazy-ass item, though. It is so, so good for what Briar already does, which is, like, get super low and then turn the fight. So as soon as we get super low, we get a thousand, a thousand, a thousand HP from the Sterex. Um, I guess I'll ult onto this guy. Oh, I'll be in a 1v2 here, huh? Uh, hello? Wah! So if you take the base gate, it cancels the thing? Well, that's annoying. W, Stride Breaker. Alrighty. Cancel his, uh, W with the Q. 
that was easy enough. That is weird, though. So, in the same way, I think if you got Callista ulted, you wouldn't be able to travel on the Briar ulti. Huh. Wow, and my ulti's almost up 24 seconds. My team died for Dragon. It's whatever. I kind of forgot Dragon was coming up. Whoops. More farm for me. I am level 15. Soon to be level 16. The same deal that the level 11 is a big deal because we get an another point in our ulti. Level 16 is the same deal, but like even stronger. We have so much HP over the enemy. It's crazy. Uh, Mr. Twitch, where are you going? Would I shoot a willy-nilly one at Twitch? Not really. Doesn't really matter if he dies or not. That guy has a Bork. I have a Stridebreaker, Starax, Black Cleaver, Magical Footwear. No Magic Mantle. 17 cars, 4 Ferraris. A swing and a miss. Oh, imagine my thing hits him. Give me your buster. My W's up like immediately, so I could get the chomp off if I needed. Damn, if we had Vex ulti right here. Yes, onto the. Yes, perfect. Honestly, I played that bad. Nice. Come on down, partners. Now another uh, tip for low elo. You ping the Baron and then you ping the ally on top of the Baron. They came easily this time. Alrighty, and then with this Baron, we just look to shove one lane as a team. And Zin, we win. The Baron doesn't deal any damage to Briar. Like, at all. Nice. So level 16, this ulti deals 740 damage. Very nice, very nice. AP, AP, AP. And that's like all their team. What if I just went a funny spirit visage, huh? Because I can't get Maul of Malmordius. I can get, like, the QSS item. That's not bad. I can get Wits in, but we don't need that. Yeah, let's do it like this. Just get even tankier. I'll be honest, this stage of the game is where Briar kinda sucks. You can't siege anything. I'm just a walking melee minion. I can take this guy's camps in spite and no one can stop me. Bush. Okay, the jungle investigation has not gone well for the misfortune. Who knew that an Evelyn could be in there? No. Keep backing off here, it's whatever. So much for Baron. What's the goal of Baron? You guessed it, to push lanes. Where should the ADC be? You guessed it, in a lane. Not right there. Just get the Dragon Soul, I guess. Could let them start the Dragon. 
We'll eventually see them right here. Oh, I see. Jump. Right into the wall. <laughs> that dealt so much. Dude, it shoved him from like here to like there. That, like where people say the E ability sucks, man. This is almost a Kiana ulti on a basic ability. Like I'm pretty sure it's good. Um, oh, we killed Brand. I didn't even notice. I'll be pushing bot lane, friends. Because if I side lane, then I can always ult into mid lane. Or at least try. Alright, this Dragon Soul gives us, um... the hell does it give us? I think it's attack speed and ability haste. I can feel the attack speed. Yeah, I'm taking the whole turret on accident here. Don't mind if I do. And then there's no fights really until the next Baron. That's where it's super annoying. Where my allies feed and kind of waste the Baron dura duration. I want to take these camps away from Evelyn, not so much getting them for myself, just if we take her camps then she doesn't get any levels, and that's a whole lot more useful than me farming my own. Spirit Visage, and then I guess I would get a Last Whisper item to like round this all out. It doesn't really matter which one I get. Because all of our damage is physical. Fine. Okay. I'll just shoot one down here and see if we hit. Damn, we missed set, too. If I had to guess, they run this way. Hello. Oh, my Q went on to Poppy. I gotta be careful with that. And the target champions only, huh? And we have no minion waves like anywhere. Yeah, they're all dead, but this is a classic low elo, <laughs> a low elo scenario. They're all dead and there's nothing to do. Oh yeah, hit the turret? Thanks. I'll be right on it. Run. Actually, we have time to take this, probably. Strike Breaker. Q. Get off him. Leave her alone, asshole. Doke. And we're waiting for Baron to spawn. Whoa. Oh, what are you doing? Nice. The 3 and 6 Twitch is now 3 and 7. Sorry, sorry. I guess we'll just keep sieging here. We'll need Poppy to dive, I think. Into the wall. Oh. Two. Oh. Run! No, my stair axe. Suppose we end the game. All right, I hope that gives you an idea of how you can get started here on on Briar. Even in these silver games, listen. If I have to like work work hard to get these wins in silver. <clears throat> I suppose you'll have to do the same, but if you just keep steady of like clearing the camps, then it's honestly easy. Because if you're clearing the camps, you're getting levels and you're getting items. But the levels are so important for Briar because there's so much packed into them. Everything is built into it, like your tankiness, your mobility, your damage, your utility, and your tankiness. So, alrighty, hope that helps, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Alrighty, welcome back to the jungle. 
And welcome back to Unranked uh, Diamond on Briar. We are in Silver 3, I think. And we are playing against Hecarim. One of the things I've learned against these full clear junglers is I think I favor the Inspiration Tree against them. Where is the ward at? Damn, right here. Oh, that's kind of annoying. I'll get back up to my top side, guys. I guess I'm starting Raptors. Like a... Actually, I can dash over the red wall. But yeah, against the full clear junglers, I've started running the Inspiration Tree because we get to match some of their utility. And you have to match, like, their ability to farm the camp super fast. AKA not skipping camps. And if you're not skipping camps, then there's not a huge reason to have, like, the Domination Tree. Which would be Sudden Impact and then Relentless Hunter. I'm definitely not a fan of, like, um, the Resolve Tree either. On Briar's release, which was like a couple days ago, that was easily like her most ran, was the Resolve Tree, and it has the lowest win rate. Because this champion don't scale like that, you don't have the juice, you have to attack some things. And she has such a strong ability to do so. <clears throat> so there's a lot of other junglers that do it like this, with, with the Inspiration Tree second. Like Xin Zhao, J Ford, Lee Sin, it's such an old thing. So Hecarim did that bot gank, so we'll be much faster than him on the clear. So actually, let's go ahead and in let's not invade him, actually. Who cares? Let's clear our camps, and then we can attack him right here after our camps. Because he's already going to be slower. Because on Briar, even if I kill him and get the gold and whatnot, I need the XP. And I only get the XP if I do the camps. Oh, I don't have to auto that. It's at 100 HP, so the bleed would kill. So, like, check it out. It will die. It will die eventually. None of these lanes are looking too gankable. So, let's just do Scuttle. I shouldn't have used my W on Gromp. I figured maybe this would be better and faster, but I wish I just had it up. So, since bot lane's not gankable, I'm going to try to pass through mid. And then, it, even if I can't gank or kill mid, then I'll still be able to fight the Hecarim. Because Zerath doesn't even have mana. Hecarim has 24 CS, so I'll go ahead and try to do this scuttle before he can get here. Nice. Now, Vladimir has no pool, so we'll just go ahead and ghost and try to run him down here. Hello, friend. Auto, W. He has pool up again? I gotta stop doing it like that. Oh, big. <laughs> big auto's coming out from Zara. <laughs> and it was enough. <laughs> I gotta stop using my W towards towards the damn Vladimir. If I Q on top of him, it's chill. Doing it like that is not very chill. Now they have two two tanks here in Garen and Hecarim. And what I've swiftly learned is that you really want Bork against these tanks. At least in lower MMRs, I know I'm getting away with this and the Bork totally owns. Maybe I would just go Black Cleaver first item. Or something like that in high, higher elo. But until we get there, I'm going to keep doing it like this. The Bork also ramps the clear speed, which is so nice. Okay, this guy has phase rush. Ooh, chomp. Nice. He didn't try to use the phase rush the right way. A, Q, A, moving. So that puts us at level 5, Hecarim will be clearing his camps upwards and will end on the top side and have nothing to do. But since I started top side, I'm going to be able to end on the dragon. And then I actually have something to do. So like, whenever you're going to full clear, I think always just be trying to path towards bot side as Briar. Because it gives you so many options. Such as countering whatever this is trying to be. It's fine to skip these camps too, because they don't give us level 6. 
I kind of need the enemy bottling to end for me though. That would really wet my whistle right here. That would really just make me go wild if you guys just went extra crazy. Now this guy's gonna go forward, careful. W, A, Q, chomp. Let's go ahead and start the dragon. Hecarim had 31 CS. I really think I could take his raptors, honestly. Let's go ahead and check that out because that dragon takes me a long time. It's only a pickaxe and a longsword. No raptors? Oh, hello. A, Q, A, A, chomp. Nice. And the raptors, too. Kind of awkward, I'll be honest. No, I can't stop. <laughs> uh, I can't stop. And who who's my opposition? Two skill shot champions. They just got a gun to my head. You want to walk into this? And I'm like, you bet I do. Alrighty. Vamp Scepter, recurve bow, and then we'll just head back to the top side. If we head back to the top side, we can full clear down the same way. We want to get as many camps as we can. And I just need one to hit level 6 here. And this Hecarim just keeps ganking bot lane. Good for him. He's got his way of playing and by God I'm gonna stick to it. Back in my day we would gank bot lane 30 times. 30 times we would gank bot lane. And it would work. Can I get a better angle on this guy? Damn it. He walked that way. Um, I'm gonna ghost. W. Q. Chomp. And I might be able to run him down here. We just have to stay on him with the W going. Or with the W coming up. W. A. Chomp. Oh, I'm so screwed. See ya. Garen, you're one tanky guy, and let me tell you, you deserve it. God, I don't have Bork. Okay, that's such a fucking waste of time. That is so fucking bad. I had Ghost, I had Red Buff, and I can't chase a Garen? Because he has boots? Understood. Understood. I should have been farming the camps. Understood. Miss the ulti. Check. Int into the enemy. Check. Get no objectives. Check. Alrighty. We've done it as bad as it can possibly be done. Even better. I flamed the Hecarim for being a noob. And then I was a noob myself. A classic combo. Shit talk the enemy and then do it perfectly fucking awful. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Honey, I gotta kill these camps. They were due yesterday. Don't tell my boss. I owe my boss $30,000. He said it was okay to take out a loan. Imagine I have an ulti for bot lane too. Because bot laners will just right click this turret and let go. Such a easy kill. And now they just get a get away. And walk away. The bleed doesn't apply the jungle pet. Um... But usually ends up killing it. Alrighty. I'm doing the dragon at 9 minutes. I'm a bit slow. Pardon me. I'm still learning. I'm just a new guy doing my new thing. Oh, I didn't get my chomp off. Shit. Okay. I think get the Vladimir. Don't use the... I tried to chomp for the heal, but... Everyone's focusing different targets. An ally has been slain. Bork. It's gonna be a rough one. And then easily, I'm just looking for a ruby crystal right here. It'd be nice if I could land an ulti on Garen so I could just get a free ride to the top lane, honestly.
All right, I'm looking for the Rift Herald. Looking to kill this Ezreal. He has nowhere to run. W. Q. Auto. Auto. Chomp. And some Raptors too, don't mind if I do. Alright, so Hecarim super low on the top side, so I think I'll be able to start the Rift Herald if I wanted to. The Garen's dead. The Vladimir was bot side. Gone. Hecarim doing his thing. Doing his thing. I have to win in low elo with macro play, my bad. My bad. You only want to use the E on the objectives if you're like low HP. I'm using it for the heal, not so much for the damage. So since Hecram's bot lane, I also look for his top side camps. He goes there, I go here. Bump. All the meanwhile too, I can be looking for an ulti. Oh shit. No, I don't have Ghost. Nice, he just gave up, that's awesome. If Garen wants it, I think he just kills me there. We do have a lot of gold, but the plays have already happened, the objectives are down, so I can keep farming in the meantime. I would say we're kind of making up for like past mistakes, but not really. You never really catch up if you skip your camps. You're always going to be down tempo. And one thing's for sure, like doubling down on the mistake does not ever catch you up. You can catch up if the enemy quite literally does nothing for like the longest time. Close. Let's go ahead and just move towards this. Oh! An ally has been slain. Your team has destroyed the Hecarim's gonna want his jungle after this, so I think we can just... At least I thought we'd be able to go there, but he's got a Garen behind him. Alrighty. Okay, Mr. Hecarim, do you want your red buff? Do you want the golems? Because I think I kill you on either one. A, W, A, Q, Smite, Chomp. Easy. Go ahead and reset. You'll never find me, you damn doofus. Your armor's too heavy, you're too slow. And from here, we're going Black Cleaver easily. I'm not really seeing any good boots either. I think I'll go Boots of Swiftness, honestly. The defensive boots, it's like... Ninja Tabby's fine. It gives us armor, but Boots of Swiftness sounds kind of juiced here. They all have so much movement speed and mobility. So perhaps, with the Ghost, with the Bork, it'll all work out. We'll see. And with all my farming, I have a 20 CS lead on Hecarim because... You guessed it, he sucks. Oh... If I got my chomp off, then I kill. You can buffer the chomp even through CC because it goes off no matter what. Like if you've ever used a Vi E like that. Alrighty, we're playing for the dragon here. So we'll go ahead and push mid. Sorty, sorty. What I like about Briar too is that you don't need the ulti to fight. The ulti helps you fight, but it, it's not necessary. I think they designed that super well. She's a, she's a very like aggressive champion, where you can force these attacks even on turns where you don't have your ulti up. Whereas other champions like Nocturne or something, it's like required that your damn ulti's up to fight. Shoot one right here. Probably have good luck. Oh, Tilly is kind of hard, huh? Go ahead and get a chomp right there. Auto. <laughs> My W is coming up. This guy has no pool. Yeah, there's a whole Hecarim right there. Run! 
<laughs> Run. I mean, that went okay. Um, let's skip Golem so that we can be on the bot side. And then all the objectives are down, so even though I have this Black Cleaver, let's get as much XP as we can and then look for a fight afterwards. Everyone's kind of reset, too. As I say that, though. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> well, shit. A, W, A, 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 chomp. Kill the Garen. I got fine here. Oh. Twelve hundred damage by the turret. Forty. Boots of Swiftness won't save me from that. W. Q. Wow. Alright, you fellas got a lot of AD damage. You might be thinking, what mythic item does he build? You guessed it, none. We're going Sterax, that's a lot of HP. My team's gone from feeding to owning. As have I. Come on, Hecarim, you know you want to go in. There you go. Gotcha. Oh? Oh shit, I don't have W. Ah. Too much damage. Yeah, I used my W at the end there on Hecarim, and then since I killed him, it expires. If I saved my W, then I'd have it to use on the Ezreal right there. Because without the W, we don't do nothing. We only have ability haste from the Black Cleaver too, so the cooldowns are pretty significant whenever they're down. It's one thing I really like about the Stridebreaker build is that those cooldowns are always up. Whereas the board gives you a specific type of damage that you can't get otherwise, which does feel kind of necessary to me. At least in low elo against tanks, but then now I'm looking at it as like, is this Spear of Sojin and Stridebreaker Garen really a tank? I think I could have just done Stridebreaker. Hey, man. Thought we were a team, dude. You big blue doofus. Operation, kill the horse. Oh. Operation, kill the blonde guy. Hey, amazing. I'm in there. I didn't play that too well. We can do Baron though. They are all dead. It's time to Baron.
Now we do have the Dragon Soul Point off this too, so I'd rather just reset. Sell that, get that. And for the actual Mythic item, honestly, I at this late stage, I think it'd be like Gore Drinker. I also always have this feeling where it's like I could go Divine Sunder or something weird like that. I don't really value the tank mythics at all. I don't think you need them. I don't think they're good either. Let's just shoot one right here, see what the hell happens. Help! Huh? Pretty... Cute. Oh, I could have played that. Shit! Run! Ugh. Cute. Hey, <laughs> give me some healing somewhere. <laughs> yeah, if I used my E to cancel that sooner, that would have been a lot better. Bork has dealt 3,000 HP. And Black Cleaver, 1,200. Oh, a forfeit? Okay. Right when I was about to have fun. Oh, yeah, I mean, learn from my mistakes, man. We do not have to. If you die in the early game, your life sucks as Briar, as it should. Because the only way you die is if you overreach for, like, what you're trying to get. And that's what I did this game. So hopefully you can learn a little bit from that. But yeah, that puts us at Silver 2. The Echelon. Let's see what MMR we're at. Silver 2 at Platinum 4 MMR. And then here's the final damage. And here is the total healing, what everyone is looking for. <laughs> so here's, like, damage dealt. And then healing done. Jesus Christ. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Alrighty. Welcome back to the jungle and welcome back to Unranked to Diamond on Belveth. <laughs> on Briar. Listen. Listen, we've played a lot of Belveth. Apparently we've recorded a lot of Belveth too. We are in Silver 1 and 2 wins away from promoting to Gold. This game we're into Belveth and Belveth, she has this onus to invade me. That's a really good leash. So we're going to let the passive bleed on the blue buff here. And then pull both of these together like this. Oh, whoops. That is not what we want to do. And the W will target the closest target. So since I use the W towards the Gromp. Oh, that's going to that's gonna waste us so much time. <laughs> since I W towards the Gromp, it targets the Gromp. Well, that gives me a lot more time to explain kind of our game plan here so first off we want a full clear so that we get level four that will make us very strong and then the onus is on Belveth to invade us because she's stronger early so if we avoid those invades or thwart them in any successful way then she's really going to be paying the price for it so we can kind of chill we just have to clear our camps and that makes things very simple for us whereas it's way more complicated for her and at lower ranks, that's something that's very nice to depend upon. Where I don't have to worry about invading her, but she really has to worry about invading me. You can use the W over this wall. It saves you a little bit of time. And you want to use the Q immediately as you land on the Raptors here. Nope. And now, since Belveth needs to invade me here, I'll just walk around this way. Kind of scout out the area. See what she's doing. The blue buff is gone, which is super weird, so we'll just keep clearing. We are a little bit slower than we're supposed to be. <laughs> After messing up the damn blue buff. <laughs> Make sure to follow for more gaming tips. How to mess up blue buff. Alright, so we finished the clear here. About 20 seconds late. But, we're level 4, so now we have the option to gank bot lane, invade, or gank mid lane. Now mid lane is a damn Maokai, so I don't really care too much to invade there. But these guys didn't ward, so if they make a mistake, then I can try to jump on them. But they're being pushed in, so... We have to be very patient if the Alistar is going to go in or not. And then we really have to be careful because our W makes it where we run them down no matter what. So this is what we were waiting for. Alistar the big man going absolutely. He has mal mad cow disease, you can tell. What the hell? Patience. Discipline. Uh, stupidity. All these attributes we can rely on to conquer the enemy. 
Jesus Christ, Alice start making it look easy. Already, let's reset. So, we ganked bot patiently, killed all of our camps, and then we got this gold. So we want to spend it? Oh god, whoops. We want to spend our gold and then reset. Now they have three tanks, and I'm pretty sure I want Bork every single time they have three, three tanks as Briar. Because, like, if I don't have Bork, I feel like I just don't deal damage. And there might be a build that comes out later, but this is what I'm rocking with right now because we can go Bork into Black Cleaver, and that's totally fine. We don't need a mythic item. But I know for sure into Big Man Scion, Big Ass Maokai, Humongous Ass Alistar, I want the Bork because it gives us percentage HP damage. Okay, and you stole my Gromp, real mature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Belveth, listen, that's why Dad named you Joe Dirt. So since she stole my Gromp, like that's a pretty slow camp for Belveth to do. I think I'll do Raptors and then try to invade her blue side. Now you need to be very, very careful with invades in low elo. This is where I've seen on this unranked to diamond climb, the most of like the enemy jungler ruining their own life. So we got level five, check. And then if I get this Gromp, it's good, but it's not necessary. So we're in the river. Yeah, this guy goes in. Let's ghost and then run him down here. Hello. Hey. Um, maybe kill. Q? Run. Okay. Okay. Oh, we got lucky this time. We didn't run into the turret and die. Let's go ahead and farm. Belveth is going to be up that one camp. That's fine. A little bit awkward, though, where these guys are spinning their flashes. So I want to do these golems, and then I could look for a reset, but the recall isn't that crazy. So what I'll do instead is stay on the map. Stay on the map and then move all the way to the top side. By doing that, then it gives me options to do, say, the Gromp, this, gank this, invade this. Whereas if I was to reset and then walk all the way here, it'd all be a little bit slower. Let's try to attack Scion for now. This guy is quite literally all the way up the lane. I mean, was there ever a freer play than this one? Phew, auto, chomp. Whoa! Oh, I'm so dead, huh? Run! <laughs> Lucky. Lucky me. Okay, now if Belveth wants to invade me, it's all G's. Well played. <laughs> well played. He was there before I could even say it. You win. So Belveth is going to be level 6 and then be looking for this Rift Herald. Now, I probably only need one camp for level 6, to be fair. So we got that going for us. So even if she starts at Rift Herald, I think I'll be able to manage... But she went back to her camp, so that's a pretty good sign for me. It means that she'll be slower to the play. That'd be nice. And with the ulti, we're looking for anytime someone gets CC'd, anytime someone tries to recall, things like that. I'm gonna drop a control word on this bad boy, and then I'll just keep farming. Because if Belveth ever starts this, I could also just ult from basically across the entire map and then try to counter. But there's no reason to try to preemptively take it when all my jungle camps are up. If all my jungle camps are up, then I need to do them, or else I won't get strong. I had to guess, I think Belveth's bot side, just clearing all the camps. If she attacks something too, then it's probably a mistake. At least if she attacks the lanes. It'd be pretty smart of her to try to attack me in the jungle. Honestly, with that in mind, let's save our E. Run! Do I want to ult into that? Hell no. <laughs>
We'll keep clearing. I get level 7. No problem. Nice, they do dragon. That's kind of a waste of time for them. It'd be so much better if Belveth just did the Rift Herald here. So I'll go ahead and reset. Well, actually, yeah, I'll go ahead and reset. I have the board completion. So then I'm even in items with Belveth, even though she got that invade off on me and got the shutdown. That's where, like, getting too many kills and skipping camps isn't even good. If you die once, the enemy's ahead. Like, better to go even. Shoot an ulti down mid here. Nice. Good setup. Hello, friends. Boom. Boom. Alrighty, nice. I'm gonna start the Rift Herald now. I have a mid laner, and Belveth does not. <laughs> this is big advantage. So whenever you get a kill, you want to look for the objectives after. You don't have to look for the objectives before you get kills on Briar. Uh. 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 Careful down there. And then our ulti is on cooldown, so whenever our ulti is on cooldown, we can either farm or fight. Now if you're going to fight, I would recommend doing the two camps on the side of the jungle that you're at, so we're top side. I could do the Gromp in blue and then try to gank top. But I definitely want to do these camps before I look for that. Because if I skip them and it goes wrong, like I waste too much time. Alright, as fun as it looks to gank a full HP Scion, I think I'll keep farming. You guys need to be careful. The Borg also really inc increases the clear speed. Alrighty, so with the Rift Herald, if we get a playoff, then... Careful! Aw. Oh. Um, I'm ghosting in, trying to get in here. My ulti is just coming up. This is fine. That guy's dead. W. Q. A. Chomp. Alright, so like I was saying with this Rift Herald, whenever we get a successful play, we can drop it, but uh, we don't have a minion wave just yet. Man, I have a shutdown again. Uh, this will show me. <laughs> this will show me to get a lead. Okay, we do have a Bell Beth problem, so I need to be careful. This Caitlyn needs to be careful, damn. That is all the plates we'll be getting. But that's a lot of gold for us, and a bigger shutdown for me, I guess. Let's go ahead and reset and spend all of our gold. It's a really good, really good turn for us. Here, I think I'll just power into the Black Cleaver. Seems like a really efficient thing for me right now. It's kind of hard to tell with their team comp. It's like a lot of CC, so I do want Merc Treads, but Belveth is going to be the main damage onto me, I feel like. I guess we'll see. I'll do like one fight and then I can kind of decide my boots from there. So since my camps are down, I'll go into the river. And if I'm in the river, it gives me option to invade, gank mid, or gank top. It's a, it's a really, really good spot to be. We got nothing better to do. Kill this guy. Okay. I'm not too sure about this, but let's try. Alrighty. At least Alistar gets the shutdown on me. That's not too bad. Dude, whenever they're right next to the turret, you're gonna die as Briar. Just <laughs> get ready. Get used to it. W. Belveth gets another shutdown, the luckiest man alive. In 14 minutes, you've killed all your jungle camps and just collected two shutdowns. Congratulations! So it's 40 seconds until Dragon, so I'm going to skip my blue side camps and then do my red side camps. This will get me closer to level 10, and then I'll be in position to fight for the Dragon faster. Because I don't want to be late. If I'm in the river to start, it's much easier for me to fight. 
Briar's an aggressive champion, and that's where you gotta use it. You gotta be there first. Imagine I wasn't here first. I wouldn't be beating this Malkai's ass. Auto. So he's not dead, but boy is he chunked. Any noobs right here? Nice, a TPN. Let's fight. Okay. I'm trying to get onto the Ziggs here. I can get a good flank angle, but yeah, my ulti's gonna be blocked by one of their seven tanks. Q. And we'll run this guy down until the end of time here. No reason to use the W. Oh. Q. E. Get away from me. The Belveth only has her forward Q, so I can run her down here. Q. Chomp. Nice, nice. Now I get the, the shutdown. There's finally some justice in this world. We're gonna be a doll. Finish that turret off for me. I love what you do. I love your nice dress. Nice, really good fight. Alright, we got a bunch of gold, we won the fight. Reset. Why? The Rift Herald's coming up. Aren't you paying attention, Bob? We gotta deny the Belveth the Rift Herald. That's very important. So we got Black Cleaver and we got Merc Treads. And then from here, I'm thinking like Gore Drinker since they have so many melee champions. And they're so stacked on top of each other. But right as I say that, it's like, wouldn't Hydra just be owning? <laughs> That's a lot of AD. That's a lot of healing. Okay, Google, let's kill this guy. A little soon there. Into the... The E does not work against Scion, guys, in case you were wondering. Chomp. Jesus Christ. The E doesn't work on dead Scion, or maybe I'm missing it. Like, this guy is kicking my ass. I want to heal off a camp, but boy is it dangerous. Get away from me. Oh, uh, right here, and then... And then like this. I'm so dead. Run. Okay, he sucks. Good. Let's just reset. Sorry, sorry. I may be able to ult from base, like, all the way into that. Let's get a ruby crystal and kind of figure it out later. I need to get on the map. The Belveth isn't showing. So I want to find any of them and then just kind of launch an ulti. So long that they're close to my allies, then I'll have a good fight. Okay, she did scuttle crab. Where is she at? Find the fugitive. This is the least playing around Rift Herald Belveth I've ever played against, that's for sure. Alrighty, I mean, the game's in a pretty good spot. We've already taken mid turret, and we've already taken... There goes my ball lane. My Caitlyn is feeding, but that's okay. Listen, in low elo, you can almost depend upon your Caitlyn feeding. Alright, so these guys want to recall. I want to land an ulti on them. Right, so Ziggs, like, definitely goes towards this bush. So let's just let it rip. Nice. Hello, Mr. Alistar. It's fine. Q. W. Chomp. Once you land the ulti on someone, you'll run them down until they die. When you hit support players, especially tanks, like, and there's no one around them, it's the most pathetic rundown, like, ever. 
One time I ran a Leona down from here all the way to there. Alrighty, let's take this bot turret so we finally end the bot lane of Ziggs. Don't mind if I do. Thank you for the little help right there. Chomp. Don't mind if I do. I guess we can keep pushing. Make sure we don't get flanked. The more turrets we get, the more gold. This is kind of okay. It just sucks on targeting Alistar, but whatever. I think that was easy. What? And another noob. Different day, same noobs. Oh. Wow. My W didn't aggro him because of Dusk Blade. Now that is lame. Sorty, sorty, I forgot. Thank God. Thank God the W chomp heals so much. Alrighty, I'm gonna reset. We need to play for the dragon that's coming up or the baron. Either way, we need to get mid lane quick. Farming jungle camps along the way would just be icing on the cake. So let's path towards bot. Skipping our blue side for like the billionth time here. We're gonna baby run. Oh. Was that the shy combo? Hello. Oh, sorry guys, sorry, 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 Even when I try to push him off, I got bumped in. Alistar got the shutdown? Deal. Alrighty. Alistar played that well. He fucking headbutted me into the turret. I can't win. It's seeming like, oh, well, I don't know. It's seeming like I'm taking primarily physical damage, but that's all the turret, man. That is 2,000 damn damage from the turret. Let's get more HP. More HP, more AD. More HP, more AD. Oh no, set. Set, we have one job for you. The Baron. No, don't tell me I threw right there. Alrighty, ulti coming in. Big. Yoink. Get in there, big man. 6k. E. Okay, not too bad. Oh, targeted Alistar. Shit! Oh. Set the man. Kill them all. Q. Oh, so close. I want to hit the Baron, honestly. Keep this thing aggroed. Bye, Maokai. Holy shit, set the man. Sent them to another dimension. So big. Oh my god. Thank you, Mr. Set. I almost threw the game. Alright, so since Belvast's dead, let's take her jungle camps. My team will be pushing, so I want to be near them, but I also want to punish the enemy jungler for dying. Just like my dumb ass may do from time to time, I tell you what. Don't push this one, fellas. They got a whole scion. No jungle camps? Okay. Let me go ahead and ward. And now with the Baron buff. Listen, I know you're probably watching this if you're lower rank, right? But what do you think we do with the Baron buff? That's right, we push a lane. So we're going to skip the jungle camps here and be sitting in a lane with our team. Why? A fight's going to happen, man. A fight will happen. How do I know this? I don't. It's not guaranteed. But a fight will happen. I can guarantee it. 
god. Oh god. W chomp. Suck my balls. Auto, auto. Run! Okay. And was I wrong? Oh, don't hit that guy. I want to be pushing. It doesn't take a scientist, you know? It doesn't take a scientist to figure out this game. When it comes to late game, a fight will happen in the mid lane. So you want to be there or be square? You guys want to keep trying or no? Come on, Alistar. Okay. Run. Now we're just going to wait, okay? We're going to do nothing and wait. And then we're in there. And then we're dead, huh? And then I W'd... <laughs> I E? Oh, I E and then W away like it will work every time. You can Q to your allies. You can Q to the minions, but I use the W. So we keep going. My biggest enemy, that damn turret. Once they add Ohmwrecker back into the game, this champion will be so crazy. But until then, my death count's going to keep going up. It's no surprise to me, I am my own worst enemy. So every now and then I press the W and fucking run into the turret and die, like... Oh, <laughs> uh, let's go stopwatch and red pot, because they're funny. I just need like a fart of XP and then I'm level 16 as well. Um... I would love a free ride into the top side here too. Mr. Alistar, you like this bush too much. Let's see how far we chase him. Hello. He's not getting very far by standing still. Cute. <laughs> Poor guy. His sword mail's kind of going nuts though, huh? Bush. Fight. Bush. Fight. Kill this guy. Where is he? There you are. Chomp. Close. Sorry, sorry. I'm just gonna have to hit this thing right here. And I'm gonna have to hit it again. I'm gonna have to press that E. And have to run away real quick. Don't mind me, don't mind me. Just visiting. Holy sh holy sh Okay. And that guy's gone again. Get in there. Go ahead, don't be brave. Set, let's see the suplex maneuver. There you go. Run. I think nah, I mean, the game's over now. <laughs> it's like, this is so weird. When do I get in there? Victory. Alrighty, GG. I hope that gives you a good idea of how you can get that job done on, on Briar. Dude, the turrets. I wish there was a stat to see how much turret damage I took. Because they're like always my biggest enemy. What do I do? Stop inting. Stop casting your W after you use E. Don't tell me what to do, man. Alright, so healing done. 45,000. Um. Yeah, you can't see how much damage you took from the turrets. But you can see how much damage you've dealt to turrets. So, wish they had that stat for us. But yeah, that puts us at silver 1, 59 LP. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Alrighty, welcome back to the jungle, and welcome back to Unranked to Diamond.
on Briar, and we're in Silver 1, I think, and we're playing into Graves. I would imagine this matchup should be pretty good, but so long that the smoke screen doesn't cancel Briar's W, then I think we're cooking, because I know that I can eat this champ alive with champions that can stay on top of him. Briar's Q also shreds a percentage of armor, whereas most champs just have to deal with Graves having like 5 billion armor against them, so... I'll be interested to see how the damage works out whenever we get on Graves, and then especially if we can stay on top of them. Go ahead and pull these together like this. Oh, whoops. Uh, I pulled the Gromp like out of the leash range, but it seems okay. And then we'll be pathing towards bot side, since there's like two tanks in the top lane. Briar is especially weak against tanks. So you want to stay away from them, at least in the early game. With that in mind too, they have Set, they have Nautilus, and they have Grave, so... It'd be nice if I could get Bork, but we'll go Stridebreaker first. That's an item that is very... very general, very broad. So it covers a lot of bases. And then we can choose to go Bork or Black Cleaver after that, kind of depending on the game state. And then against Graves here, the onus is on him to invade us, so... We'll just clear our camps as normal and see what he does. Because we definitely want a full clear. Definitely want a full clear with a feeding bot lane already. 0 2 on Lux. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best down here. It's hard. That Nautilus, he, he's worked as, worked as an anchor man for quite some time. Alright, so I'm not activating the W. <laughs> 0 and 3. Leave that at 100, and then we jump over. Nice. They are kind of low down here. So I want to save my E in case I can utilize it down here. But it doesn't look like they're going to stay. I'll go ahead and put another point in W and then see if we can't... Oh, Graves goes mid. Deal. He's only level 3. He skipped one camp. Oh, my Ari flashed in. Let's do Scuttle. Because if Ari flashes forward, like, I can't help. You've gone the wrong way, bitch. Well, Maybe I can get lucky on Akali, but I doubt it. Ghost. Moving. WQ. Chomp. Maybe the bleed? Maybe the red buff? Damn, she lives. The Dorn shield, she didn't even use the health potion either. Gray still hasn't done Scuttle, so maybe I can get lucky here. Oh. No. Yes. Huh. Let's heal. <laughs> now let's fight him. He's level 3. He's looking for trouble. Hello. <laughs> I have the... I have this to run him down, but he has set, okay? Okay. Tricky maneuvers here. <laughs> Over the wall, okay? It's fine. I... Akali? Q, auto, E? Get away from me. Three man stun into the wall. You think, we think, you think we can win? Think we can win, guys? Any teammates right here? Uh-huh. Well, I can't take on a whole set, that's for sure. Charm him. We win. Q. E. Oh, I can't stop. Oh, close. Really, they don't die. Two big-ass slams into the wall, they don't die. Impressive. Impressive from the teammates. Finally, a real fucking player on this team. Alrighty, we need to full clear. We need to full clear fast. That spent so much of our time. Oh my god, it did not pay off. But it went so bad because the soul lanes had fed prior. So if that's the case, it's totally fine to just concede. Concede the graves like moving into my jungle and just let it happen. Ready, zero and six. Lux is going for the one death per minute challenge. 
Looks like Vayne has just left bot lane too. This is not looking like a solid game at all. Maybe it's a realistic game for Silver though, huh? But the MMR we're actually playing at is like Emerald. But perhaps Emerald is just Crybaby Silver Gold. Hard to say. So as we finish these camps, we get closer to level 6. I honestly think I might just reset after these two, which is pretty lame, but I'm definitely not ganking for Mordekaiser or Lux, you know? Because the blue buff gives me level 6, and then I'm really online. We're ahead of in, in farm against the Graves, too. So at least we have that to, like, leverage over him. Swap to the Sweeper now. And then back to the top side. Nice dodge. Careful, careful. Welcome to pain and misery, Mr. Mordekaiser. I'm gonna save my Q for this guy. Help me away. Q, E. Oh, he just walks away. An expert move. Chomp. And <laughs> it's so impossible. To try to land that E offensively is so damn hard. Try to stun them, you know? They just. They have this really hard counter where they can walk away. This really ruins when I try to stun them and knock them into the wall. Well, Graves takes the dragon down there. And he'll be able to occupy my red side now, so it's really in my interest to try to stay on top side. Or at least stay away from where the Nautilus and the Graves could be. Because we'll be outnumbered forever. Especially with the 0-7 Lux. And we don't want to take fights on that on those terms. Since Graves goes bot, we'll try to take his top side here. What's nice too with this Rift Herald is that I have the instant reset. So I can kind of go from one side of the map to the other really fast. And with my ulti too, it just feels like I can be pretty much everywhere. Okay. Nice, this guy stays. Mr. Seth, do you want to die? Oh, he wants to die. Never mind, he wants to live. Let's go ahead and reset. We need to get this stride breaker. Graves already has his ghost blade, congratulations. Sorty, sorty, sorty. Oh, I should have reset. More kills to them, but the score is 6 to 16, so the game's one of the insta losses, so it's no big deal, honestly. And an insta loss, you might be thinking, what do I do? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, I'm gonna lose. Dude, what do I do? That might be you. And here's what you do you just kill the camps. You just kinda, <laughs> you just kinda kill the camps and then wait for something cool to happen participate probably die but then but then it's kind of chill hello shred breaker q e close where he uses his e it's gonna push me forward let's go ahead and drop the rift herald here it's gonna push me forward so then that puts me in a position to slam him into the wall but he flashed it which was pretty good on him honestly Enemy team faker, my team, 0-7 luck support with Sapphire Crystal, you know what I mean? Happens. It happens, and it's honestly no big deal. 
you have to understand that that is how the matchmaking algorithm works. It will hand you losses, and these losses are meant to rile you up, and if you simply don't give a fuck, then they don't do nothing. Hello, friend. Oh, I didn't hit. No red buff? Ridiculous. I work hard, I bust my back. Just for there to be no red buff when I come home. Now, they are going to be fighting here, but... Cute. Plus. Honestly, Nautilus could hook me here. This is kind of chill. Go ahead. Damn, he won't hook me. Okay, whatever. Is there a scuttle crab up? Kill this guy. Oh. Oh. Goodbye, noob. Oh, you've collected but so many kills. You must be very skilled. What's that? You overstayed for one wave? Oh, I think you're stupid. And now you pay the price. Ninja Tabby. Now, do we want Black Cleaver or Bork? They have very tanky guys. I'm thinking I'm just going Bork, man. I already have a lot invested into tankiness with the Stride Breaker. So that gives me almost 400 HP. Tankiness right here. And I need... I need to go Ballistic. And I'm not seeing really doing that without high amounts of burst damage. We have, like, pick potential with, um... The Ari and the Vayne CC. So... Wish me luck. If I don't have enough HP, the Bork sucks. But our next goal here is kill all the camps as fast as we can. And then be in position to fight again. And where Graves has, or at least had the advantage, he wasn't such a noob, <laughs> where he had the advantage, the onus is on him to like invade me and stop me from farming. Okay. Oh, real champions run! Q, stride breaker. one but I can't stop oh really that's two that's crazy huh the AD went nuts right there sorry sorry but I'm going to have to kill you I think W A Q A A chomp A nice thank you so much Thank you so much for being so dumb. Reset. We got a game to carry. Actually, I need a I need some minions here. The big man needs some real gold. Thank you very much. And with this Bork, I'm believing in the Bork after that fight. Because the healing went so ballistic, just because we kept hitting them so hard. Already set, we have a question. Do you want to hit the turret? No. Oh god. Oh god. So much for that. So even if I shove him away like that, it's not exactly working. Get our healing going. And I have Ari behind me. It's out, I guess. I didn't even get my E off and that worked out. If I do like one jungle camp too, then I'm back to full HP. Nine Grace jungle camps in the same same time too. 
Damn, Samir doesn't keep pushing. I'm gonna let an ulti rip here. I, that's not who I wanted. Chomp. Okay, we're good. We're good. More kills for me. And we're back at it. We need to farm quick. And then from here, it's definitely Black Cleaver. Black Cleaver is what, like, augments the ability haste, giving you way more ulties, but then making the W and Q on very, very short cooldowns, as well as shredding armor, as well as giving you damage, as well as giving you movement speed, as well as giving you a ton of HP. It's such an effective item on this champion. Hello, Seth. The double stun into the wall. I messed up mine, but it could have been very cool. Alrighty, I only have 150 gold shutdown. Nice. Let's see if this guy has any jungle camps. Even though our ulti's down, like it's totally fine to look for a fight here. Farming all along the way. Nice, we're in there. Stride breaker, auto, auto, auto. Okay. Oh, I needed to Q, I fucked up. If I E, Q, auto, W, auto, chomp, that guy's dead for sure. Ah. Oh, I messed up. It's not a big shutdown to Graves though, so we're lucky there. And then if Akali goes in stealth, then the W retargets, so that's good to know. Because whenever you ulti in, it will stay on the same target, even if you W towards someone else. And I, I really need to get used to ulting E, and then moving towards someone. Just kind of Q auto, and then like auto W. Q auto moving, and then auto W, they're screwed. So the dragon's coming up, that's kind of important, but I'm just going to keep farming my camps. It's up to my team to like really do a fight. I, I won't be starting one. You guys have ruined the game, I will not be saving you. I'll be making myself strong along the way. And then I can ult into any fight that's happening. But if there was ever a game to show you like how to... At least to show me how to carry, Jesus. The Lux and Mordekaiser are like such dead weight. Well, I'm passing away from this, but I'm not like... It's not like I'm defeated or being like poopy pants, it's just... I can't get in there first. Still paying attention to the map, still watching it. But being involved now, that's another issue. No noobs here? Okay. I only have the longsword on the reset, so when there's nothing to do, you can stay near mid and then just look for ultis. Something will start somewhere. Fuck, I still die. I died to Graves? He was dead for so long. It was this Q bounce that kills me. That's so weird. Oh, we don't get to the Black Cleaver. I need Black Cleaver. I need Death Dance. I need some car insurance. I need some two, some new teammates. Alright, guys. We can forfeit. It's no big deal. In fact, it's kind of chill. <laughs> Zero and twelve. Let's hear it for 0 and 12.
14 seconds on my ulti. It's taking him long enough. Might be able to clean up a couple here. Gotcha. We didn't get one. I tried to Q, so I land, stride breaker, Q, and then I get hit by Nautilus Hook. I needed to dodge Nautilus Hook with my W. And then Samira flashed away. And then I'm CC chained for like ever right here too. You can absolve the like knockups with the E, but that wasn't what I was looking to do. I thought I'd be able to one shot the Samira. Black Cleaver, I need to full clear, I need to get level 16, and whatever the enemy does in the meantime, good for them. We're real happy for them, you know, they deserve it, with their 36 kills, they've worked hard for it, and by golly, they should have some reward now, shouldn't they? Run! Owned. Owned. Now would I ult back in? No. Let's go somewhere else. <laughs> we don't have to be here. I'm going to be farming some camps. I'm going to be farming some waves. I need level 16. I need Dash Dance. Because even if I wanted to defend, Briar's defense sucks, dude. My champ don't do nothing when the enemy going in like this. But damn it, they're pushing my base. At least the Samira recalled. I got 10 seconds on Ari. Until they start hitting that Nexus turret. We can kind of chill out. Nice. This guy recalls. Gives us a numbers advantage. Ari is up. That's all 10. Nice. We're going to W towards Graves. That will target him. No problem. I'm trying my best out here, honey. You're a noob. You're gonna lose in silver. Honey, I work hard. You know? I work hard every day. You know, I just would like some words of encouragement. Go to the dragon. You're late. Honey, I just I just did a triple kill. You know, I'm trying my best. Phew, stride breaker. Chomp. That was easy. It's so obvious whenever the ADCs are dead like that. Oh, not this guy. Nice. Good job on the dragon, honey. I always believed in you. Yeah, I know, honey. I know. That's why I do it for you. For them salty lips. The way you eat those saltine crackers, you get me worked up. Good job, guys. Level 16, I have arrived. Now the game state, as bad as it gets. But with my four, my 4k gold, maybe I stand a chance. Suck my balls. Nautilus, where are you? Come on, show yourself. If I can take 1v1s like all over the place, I can win. It's, it's when it comes to team fights that my life is screwed up. I mean, we are getting closer and closer, I'll be on. Run! Please. 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 I should have ghosted way sooner, huh? Well, we got Death Dance. What's next here?
They have so much damage. I think it's just Sterex. It's the only item I really see. Sterex gives us a lot of HP. They're so tanky. But I know that I... Oh, I think we lose. Oh, I was so close. If I didn't do this. If I didn't do this and then do like four pentakills back to back, I think I win. Oh, damn. Final score on the Lux here. We got 0 and 14. That's pretty impressive. So let's hear it for Lux. And we will stay in Silver 1 for a couple more games here. That puts us at Silver 1. 25 LP. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Alrighty. Welcome back to the jungle. And welcome back to Unranked 2 Diamond on Briar. We're currently Silver 1 and looking to finish out, finish out our time in Silver here. And then get into Gold. And then we're playing in like Emerald MMR. And we're playing against Shaco's support. So... This blue buff at the end here, I think you just kind of finish it down. And then start the W like this. So you can get that second W onto the Gronk. If you use the second W only on the blue, at least if you have to solo it, it's way too slow. And our game plan is the same as always. We want to be full clearing. And then getting stronger than the Shaco. Now Shaco pretty much guarantees starts topside. Since he has that fast 3 camp. And then if he does a gank, we could try to respond to that. But we'll just keep clearing our camps in the meantime. And then if he keeps clearing his camps too. One, I think that we clear faster than him. And then two, we have a much stronger fight on the Scuttle Crab. Because we are way stronger level four to his level four. Well, that makes things easy. So since he ganks top, we're going to punish. We're going to take his blue side camps. A. A. And the Ignite does it. So since she kills Shaco, he'll have home guard, so we only have time for like one camp here. But even if we just get the one camp, then we do deny Shaco from getting level 6 a lot sooner. We even deny him from getting the level 4. But taking the time to do this too, kind of spends our time too, so... I'll take this and then just go back to my jungle for now. Because Shaco will reset and then he'll have items on me too. So I don't want to try for like a 1v1. Just yet. Jacob's one of those champions too. You try to attack him and he just cues away. It's like, dude. Because if a champion goes invisible, you don't say targeted on them with a W as well. Alrighty, nice. Let's fight. Now, I don't have smite, so we definitely want to try to fight the Shaco here. Nice. W. Aw, oh, really? Oh, I already used my chomp. Shit. Oh, he didn't go into the wall. Uh, <laughs> oh. Damn it, I tried to chomp the scuttle crab, but then I ended up chomping him. And then I tried to push him into the wall. I don't think I charged it long enough, that was my bad. Uh, let's get pickaxe and then get back out there. With the pickaxe, you can always choose like Stridebreaker or Bork or even Gore Drinker as your first item. So, if you're just trying to be fast on the map, that's, <laughs> I mean, it's something to do. If the shit goes bad, he'll reset to his blue side too, so maybe I could just sneak into his red side, try to get level 4. Looking at their team comp, it doesn't look like we need Bork. Or if two of them go invisible too, that kind of dissuades me too. Having more CDR with like the Stride Breaker and Black Cleaver makes it a lot easier. To actually finish them off. Close. If I dash towards them, then it'll go to Shaco. Auto. Nice, this guy doesn't move. Nice. Now, Akali, we have a question. Do you want to recall in this bush? Okay. My E's up in 6, so I do have to be careful. Nice. Run! <laughs> Run! Dude, why is their whole team? Everyone but Shivana. We're visiting the whole team, you know? We're coming down. 
it's not only uh we're not just coming down for the game but we want to see everyone in the city you know we love them so after that play i definitely want to do a little full clear here even if i was to reset we'd be dealing pretty similar amounts of damage to the camp so let's take these camps while we can and then look for plays afterwards all the meanwhile shaco is so slow on his clear so astronomically slow You want to get used to like walking away from the camps too. At the end, the passive bleed will finish off the camps somewhere around like 120 HP in the early game. Well, Shaco goes topside, but I'm just going to keep farming. My bot lane recalled, so I don't really have a position on dragon. So if I do red buff and I do golems, then I'll get level 6. And I get level 6 so early because I took some of Shaco's camps along the way. Kind of surprised, honestly. Since I missed this scuttle crab. Kind of surprised I get level 6. Alrighty, cool. We got a bunch of gold. We're going to be going Stridebreaker and Black Cleaver, I think. This combination gives you a lot of ability haste, a lot of AD, attack speed, and then also HP. And the HP... Let you like go in initially and then it's fine it's fine you're gonna live you know you're not gonna get blown up but i'm thinking like since they have so many stealths i might need to be able to go in and then back off and then go back in and having a lot of ability haste helps me do that which the stride breaker into the black cleaver gives you Now with the ulti too, I'm looking for if the enemy is ever recalling, if they're getting CC'd, but I can just be farming all the camps in the meanwhile too. So let's go ahead and move up here, see if we can find Shaco in his red side, of course. He's bot lane level 4. Can it be me? Can it be me? No golems? Okay. Danger? Listen man, why'd you call me here then? I thought we were going to have fun. Alrighty, so the Rift Herald's up, but so is Shaco's red side camp, so I'm going to do those instead. I'm really looking for a fight. I don't really care to take the objectives this soon. The more camps you can get, the better. There's really no downside. Especially if you're taking the enemy jungle camps, which I've found is like surprisingly easy for Briar. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe it's because I'm always healthy. Maybe it's because she does the camp so fast. I think it's kind of a combination of all of it, honestly. I'm not going to go for the golems here. Akali's already investigating, so... And then if a fight ever happens in these soul lanes, like this, I can try to get in there. Close. I would have to guess that Shaco's been in my bot side too. We've been up here for so long now. Let's go ahead and reset, get the stride breaker. This Jace is kind of chunked, so I spent a lot of time here, so I'll go ahead and reset. And then I'm just going to pass towards the bot side. I don't really care about the Rift Herald too much right now. But we got a full stride breaker at 9 minutes. That's not too bad. And then from here, it's just more stats. More stats. Okay, Shaco is truly screwing around the top side. We can try for Dragon here. My bot lane is pretty pushed up and the Akali had to reset. The Shaco doesn't even have the 900 smite yet. That's how far behind he is. Okay, I'll hover my bot lane here. Yeah, ghost in. Easy. W. Q. Auto. Auto. Chomp. Auto. E. Into the wall. Oh, really? Damn, they didn't go into the wall again. I think I'm just not charging the E long enough. Oh, Q. Nice. 
I'll take one long sword and another long sword. Make it three long swords. Thank you very much. Hmm. Oh yeah, you want to hit the turret? A great choice. A great choice. All thanks to my trusty three longswords. Oh really, Shaco? Really? Shut down, I'm rich. That guy has four kills? Interesting. Alrighty, so we killed Shaco. Now we have time to do Rift Herald, and he's doing nothing. He's dead. You know what they said? A dead man can't show up for work. So now we have a super easy sequence here. We do Rift Herald, we do all of our camps, and then we're so strong. We have so much gold, so much XP. All the meanwhile, Shaco is doing nothing. And our ulti is coming off cooldown, too. Yeah, my bot lane's feeding. At least they're making it interesting. So I'm thinking do my blue side camps and then drop Rift Herald mid. I am level 9, Shaco is maybe level 7. Why? Because I farmed the jungle camps. Shaco didn't farm the jungle camps. Big mistake. My ulti's coming up too. So again, we do not look for the place preemptively. We respond to them with the ulti. You know, Ogren hits rank 1 with reactive jungling. And then they make one of the best reactive junglers ever. Coincidence? I don't think so. I'm going to enter the river here, skipping the golems. Uh, I need to place the Rift Herald sometime soon. Both my lanes haven't slow pushed, so it makes it pretty bad for me, honestly. Into the wall. Oh. Damn, I've missed the wall twice. Run! Not this guy. He deals too much damage. Run! Oh, so much for dropping Rift Herald. Now, I do think I can kill Twitch and Yumi solo. I just really hope Akali doesn't stay around. This is a pretty bad play, but listen, here we are. When life gives you lemons, you sit in a bush and hope the enemy sucks. And sometimes, it all works out. You know what they say, it's all gonna work out. If there's one thing you can rely on, it's the enemy bot lane giving you a random free double kill. I'm gonna drop this Rift Herald and leave. I have enough gold for Black Cleaver, the enemy is screwed. Cause once you complete these two items, you are online as Briar. Black Cleaver, and then they have the weirdest looking team you've ever seen. I don't know what to build, man. I'm just gonna build HP then. If you guys are gonna be weird, then I'm just gonna do it like this, okay? Like, look at this. AD on the Shivana, AD on Shaco, AP, AP, AP. But then Twitch's AP becomes true damage. Alrighty, Shaco just keeps dying, so this is making it easy. We have 100 CS to 60, and it's just gonna keep getting better for us. Well, Come on, Swain. Guys, scout it out. We have two global look at the thing abilities. Come on. Okay, nice. Nice, we're already level 11. Damn, we are actually like super ramped. And this is mostly from farming. I Okay, I do have 8 kills, never mind. I'm just gonna occupy this space here. This shake is so screwed. I 
be I'm screwed. Damn. Mm, I don't know how to get out of this. I am outnumbered. I am outmanned. One thing's for sure, they're dealing a lot of magic damage. Shivana with the Hydra just dealt 800 to me. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean the Shivana with the Hydra just dealt 800 to me? What do you mean? What are you talking about? You got the wrong guy. Damn. This? Because Merc Treads isn't too great here. What in the... What am I playing against? I didn't get an ulti in either, so I didn't have the resistances to start. And that will show me, man. If you let your team start the fight, boy, you have a lot of things going for you. One, they spend abilities on them. Two, you get the resistances as you ult in. Three, they've spent abilities on your allies. Four, they spent abilities on your allies and not you. Five, they spent abilities on your allies. Just give me a second. W E. Fuck. Trying to get over that wall is so bad. I mean, at least I can start building towards magic resist now. One of the better items being Maul, but then that's kind of off the table. But since we're so tanky anyways to start here, I think we can just go Spirit Visage. I do want to get an AD item, but the best one would have been Maw. <laughs> but I've already built Sterax. Damn. Yeah, I think I should have built an MR item third here. It's definitely a mistake. But we have the two dragons, so we have the dragon soul to fall back on. And I'm still, like, very, very strong. So, we'll keep on the same game path here where we clear most of our camps and then try to try to ult in later. I think I just have to stop myself from not... I have to stop myself from starting the fights. A little bit too low, I think. Yeah. <laughs> One thing's for sure, too, I really don't want to lose this game. Pick it up. Go ahead, pick it up. Hello, friends. Which is a massive shutdown. Nice. Nice. And would you look at that, we've been totally owned by a billion magic damage for the 50th time here. Give me the spear of visage already. Give it to me, give it to me. But the Sterex does block 1,400. Surely that's more than the magic damage shield. But then that plus the MR, hard to say. I used my chomp super early on the second end tier, so maybe that was my mistake. If I could have kept living. But now it really comes down to if we win these dragon fights. I need to keep farming and win some dragon fights. Okay. Nice. I 
right here. Gotcha. Might as well push this. All my carries are deaf like the 80th time. Farm quickly. We got a bunch of dead weight on the team. We better get strong. You know what they say, lift heavy. Makes you stronger. Oh, I got the spear visage, let's go. You will face my wrath. I think I go ninja tabby second for some reason. It was like on hit, on hit, and then Ninja Tabby also reduces some of the on-hit damage, even though it's magic damage coming from the Twitch. So that would apply to the Nashers, it would apply to the Ardent Sensor, things like that. Okay, now let my team start the fight. Careful, let my team start the fight, just let them start it. Guys, please start a fight. Akali's bot side. Maybe they're on Baron. I can trade Baron for Dragon with this game state. Oh. I should cancel this. Now, if Twitch is bad, he'll walk into me here. Uh, if I canceled my E, I think I'd kill. Okay, he's not walking into me, Dan. Which was really all the way over there? They're still dead for 10. I think we have good chances here. Damn, my chase sucked. Nice. We got the dragon. It's done. We got the baron. Good. Oh, maybe kill this guy on red. Lucky. And we chase him until he dies. Nice. Kill, kill. Come on. Oh, it cancels off that shit. Okay, well, we can keep pushing. Not like this. Oh my god. Oh my god, everyone split up. <laughs> oh my god, we had the bear and Bob. We had it all. I thought this would be easy. I thought this would be easy, but I did not see, I did not see the Ash and Jace, but pushing on their own. Well, the game keeps going, so we'll go Ninja Tabby, and then it's definitely just more magic resist. It's mostly of what we're dying to. We already have enough HP. So at this point, I think I need an AD item with it, but I don't think it's like super necessary, so maybe I could even get away with Gargoyles. But the only damage items being Bork and Sterex, that kind of scares me though. So let's do this. Get a Null Magic and then 
can kind of figure it out later. Oh, nice, we hit him. No, I have the Twitch problem again, I think. Spear Visage bonus healing 2,000. That's so crazy. Alrighty, the dragon's up in 120. So it's better to have these lanes pushed, the jungle camps cleared, and then like in position to fight. The Shivana died top apparently too. We don't get lucky there. We should probably just group up with these guys. Yeah. I got the one, but I need to heal now. One for my 10 death bot lane is kind of a deal. We also made the Twitch and the Yumi spend ults. It's kind of okay. I wish I hit the uh I wish I hit the Twitch though. Nice. Okay, so it's Shivana and Twitch. This dragon is so crazy for Briar. Giving you more damage when you're low and giving you damage reduction whenever you're low. Okay. Mr. President, we may just make it out of gold. Make it to gold. Yes, Akali is dead. Switch his topside. Yes. Yes, now one minute until Baron. Just get a very relaxed tur turret down here. No problems. No problems here. Nobody's dying. Now don't push mid lane. Don't. Whitsend honestly isn't looking like the juice, but let's just get gargoyles, and then I can get like the red pot is probably doing more than the Whitsend. I'll be honest, gargoyles like that is so much HP. This is gonna shield us for one thousand seven hundred versus Whitsend. I go, uh, I go sixty magic damage on hit. Like <laughs> who gives a fuck? Operation, find the rat. Operation, find the rat. Please. Please! Yes. The gargoyles was so necessary, huh? I can't believe it. Push. 30 seconds. We got this. We got this. Oh my god, the gargoyles was so necessary. I can't believe how much damage I tanked right there. 
Dude, the Dragon Soul probably played a part too. Making us tankier whenever we're low. Oh my god, what a hard game to play. Cold one, hard earned right here. Jesus. With that game, that puts us in the prestigious rank of Gold 4. I never thought I'd have to work so hard for. <laughs> Ooh. And for those interested in the stats, here's the total damage dealt. 31k. And then healing done, we have 50,000. 50,000. Okay. And then, unfortunately, there's no self-shielding stat as well because... The shielding that came out of the Sterax and that came out of the um, Gargoyles was so crucial to winning those fights, to like truly 1v9. So, Cameron, can't, Christ, can't recommend those tanky items enough to like actually carry the game. And I'm surprised it was enough damage. I did feel the lack of damage and not having any on hit item or AD item after the Stridebreaker, the Black Cleaver, and the Sterax. So... That was kind of dangerous, but where the entire enemy team was like squishy enough, we were able to get away with it. So, alrighty. Thank you for watching. Hope that helps you get from silver to gold as well. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.